I'm Randy and I make candy and today I'm making lemon fudge. Stick around. <music> Greetings my confectionery compadres and welcome to Randy Makes Candy, where I help you make tasty treats that people love to eat. I mentioned in the lemon drop episode how much I love the flavor of lemon. Lemon candies, lemon bars, lemon meringue pie. So you can imagine my excitement when I saw this recipe for lemon fudge. We've done a number of out of the ordinary fudges here in the candy kitchen. Habanero, cherry coke, creme brulee. This is another that I'm happy to add to the list. As always, I'd love to hear about your results if you decide to make your own lemon fudge, as well as suggestions for other recipes you'd like to see in future videos. Okay, let's make this happen. For this recipe, you'll need 28 grams of unsalted butter, 110 grams of sugar, 90 grams of white chocolate, 50 grams of marshmallow cream, 43 grams of full fat sour cream, 1 teaspoon of lemon extract, 1 eighth teaspoon of salt, 1 quarter teaspoon of lemon zest, 1 eighth teaspoon of citric acid, and 2 drops of yellow food coloring. You'll also need a 4x4 pan, some parchment, a saucepan, a spoon or spatula, a candy thermometer, and a cutting board. Okay, let's make some candy. Grease a 4x4 baking pan and line it with greased parchment or wax paper. Place the butter in a saucepan over low heat and stir it occasionally until it's nearly melted. Add the sugar, sour cream, and salt. Raise the heat to medium and cook the mixture, stirring frequently until it comes to a boil. Insert a candy thermometer and continue to cook stirring frequently until it reaches 235 degrees Fahrenheit. Remove the pan from the heat and add the white chocolate chips and the marshmallow cream. Stir until it's combined. If necessary, you can return the pan to the heat for brief periods to melt the chips. Add the lemon extract, lemon zest, citric acid, and food coloring. Stir well until it's well mixed. You can add additional lemon extract or citric acid to get the flavor you want, but be careful tasting this because obviously that's going to be very hot. You can also add more coloring if you desire a stronger yellow color. Pour the fudge into the pan and allow it to set at room temperature for three to four hours or in the refrigerator for one to two hours. I just let it sit on the counter overnight. And that's it. Okay, let's have a taste. Slanchiva. Oh, that's nice. Creamy fudge, bright lemon flavor, little tang from the citric acid, just the right amount of sweetness. You really ought to try these. If you enjoyed your time here in the candy kitchen, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sticking around, and I hope you'll join me next time. Y'all ready for this? Bum, ba, da, bam, bam, bam.